just in bed and I just woke up and that's the, the view I got this morning. There's my little Japanese lantern. And there's us snowing galore in my garden. It's very nice, you know. And I sleep, of course, on my futon. And, uh, what a lovely view for the morning. This doesn't look so impressive, guys, but well, that is Mount Fuji from here. I've been trying to capture that for about half an hour. Yoshi is full. Right, guys, if you don't know, we're in um, Hojo territory. That's the new Hojo clan, the one from the Sengoku period, or the later Sengoku period. We finished in the just before the Edo period, so um, this is where their uh, domain was. Not that wall, though. Have you started it now? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Right. <laughs> Me and Yoshi have come on a day trip to Odawara. This is the Hojo Clan center, where the Hojo Clan were. Um, in power and this is one of the graves and what we're going to do for the day is take you around all the different sites right guys this is the main castle in com enclosure of the uh go hojo clan or the hojo clan of the sengoku period um they were pretty powerful dudes and they pretty much ruled um this area and the surrounding bits and i'll take you around there's some dodgy monkeys and these chaps were ruined by hideyoshi in the end I got sort of like did him over. Right, there's a famous story about Hideyoshi and his one night castle building. And you can't really see him, but there's some mountains in the background. And we pretty much reckon that's just about where he would have built it, around this area somewhere. His, his famous one night castle. That is the sound of Japanese school children. sound of Japan. Those who remember Stephen's video on um, telescopes, there's one from 1613 from Togawayasu. So Nigeria, there you go. That's an actual one. You don't know. Sword chest. Mm. Right guys, apparently according to Yoshi that is a sword chest. Right guys, for the ninja fans that's really important. There's the compass with the different directions on it where it talks about coming from certain directions in the um, Gumpo Joshu. There they are. Okay guys, that's hat for a monk, that's hat for a samurai, that's a hat for a like a headman of a village, not a samurai but not a peasant. And there's the Yatate, the ink and brush. One day I'm gonna make a model like that. One day, when I get the time. There you go, John, you're talking about the spiked candle handle. Really secret ninja weapon. There it is, not at all. It's just for holding candles. Ah, and here we go, guys. There's this Gando lantern. Old school burglar things. We all like that one. Back in the Togakure days. Fireproof coat, eh? Mm -hmm. I just want to say something, guys. Everybody, it's like when they pick up a weapon, a modern one, they think it's, you know pretty dangerous. Actual weapons are really heavy duty and they're really, really, I don't know, they've got that solid feel to them. And when you look at real armour, it's got that really solid feel. You would not be a happy chap with that to your face. Jolly damn good time. <laughs> so this, this armour that I'm showing you is actually, um, whose armour? Hojo Shinzaburo Ujinobu. Right, it's this guy's armour, and he died in the uh, later Sengoku period, mid-1500s. Mid and um, he actually died in this armour. And that was his weapons and stuff. 
if that's not the best dream for Dean, eh? If you're still around, Dean. Sorry about the reflection. There's plenty of stuff there. We all remember them hand thrown things back from a Ninja Assassin's book. <laughs> Look at that, you won't want that in your gut. Not after breakfast, anyway. And again, some decent spikes. Yosha is trying to tell me something, but she gets angry when the voice goes on the video, so I have to wait for it to. For all those Nawa fans, the Nawa author, that gauntlet was actually donated by Nawa himself. So for the Nawa fans, for those who get off on guns. I say chaps, should we hunt some boars? Guys, remember the shuriken thing? Asking about finding shuriken. Guess what we've just come across. No date, but look at what it is. There we go. No date, but actually in a proper museum. So that is good, good. Here we go, guys, for those with the shuriken lovers. Most of them are bow, remember? Right, guys, just had a read of the information. It apparently was found in a mansion. It's really rare. They Even they've put it as Ninja Star. <laughs> Another one there. The Jew should have even as Ninja Star. There's the criminal capturing rakes. Fireman's helmets. I know Steve likes the fireman's helmets. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I actually find sword blades a bit boring actually. There we go guys, we found it, the sign for its directs us to the One Night Castle. You can't really see this on the camera, but it's absolutely superb. And it's, they're really distant here, but you can actually see them properly. You know, those, those mountains. At the top, we're at the top of the castle, that's all the way down. Oh my god, Yoshi has the finger of a gimp. On, off, on, off. Guys, for those who are interested in the ninja side of it, um, Fuma Kotoro, yeah, he, the, the legendary ninja of the Hojo clan, we don't know whether he was actually real or not. It seems he was, but uh, obviously legends say he was some sort of demon. We don't know how much he was real. He's in the show, Ninky, blah, blah, blah. But this is the castle where his lord would have been, and he was um, retained by this lord. And those mountains there are pretty much probably his territory and where he's, uh, were they rapper or super? I can't remember. Rapper. rapper. They were his rapper were um, or shinobi were actually active in this area. So that's a bit of actually putting a reality to uh, the things you read in the show. Those strange mountains there. Hakone. Mm. Lots of people having baths up there. Right, guys. If you want to be a ninja, you've got to climb all the way up there. Remember using your kogai in the go up to the window, over the top, or climb through the window, climb around the edges. <laughs> and get in somewhere. That's pretty much your job. Just so you know, you see this, this is a main gate and you see those which are now covered in their gun ports. This area was so you could get peppered with arrows as everybody tried to come and you just get launched and killed and they throw rubbish on you. Also I'd like to point out that big tree there is supported just in case it falls down because it's pretty big. Okay, that's the end of our day with the Hojo clan and we're here now just for Japanese food and um, that's the end of the video so I hope you enjoyed it. Go and have a look at Go Hojo and see what they did in history and see how they felt.